Hi everyone, so it's January favourites time and I've got a few beauty bits and also a few random bits and bobs as well, so let's get started. So the first few things are also things that cropped up in my everyday makeup bag video, so I won't ramble on about them too much, but I really have been loving this primer. It is from Becca and it is their Backlight Priming Filter. I actually think this is one of my favourite primers that I have ever used because it's almost like a skincare item. It feels very moisturising on the skin, really hydrating, but it's got like a pearly sort of finish. It definitely doesn't look shimmery at all. Like when you look in the light and you get a mirror like real close up to your face, you're like, there's something there, but I can't see that it's there. It just looks very natural and provides this really pretty, like, I have slept for like 10 hours straight and drunk my recommended daily dose of water type glow. And I love that. It leaves things looking really nice and juicy and just makes whatever you put on top look a little bit more skin like. Speaking of skin like things, I've also been enjoying the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Stay in Place Makeup in the shade Intense T10. I I love the combination of this and the Becca actually, they just go really nicely together. And this is just my new everyday base because it's very light on the skin. It definitely doesn't feel like you're wearing makeup necessarily, but it's got almost like a medium to pretty full finish if you go in with like a few kind of dollops of this. I just put it on a brush, which I'm gonna show you in a bit, and then just find that buffing it all over my face is the best way to apply it. But it's nice in that you can apply just a little bit and get a really even finish on your skin, or you can go in a little bit heavier and get more of a like full coverage finish for a night out, but it just looks very very natural and satiny on the skin. I've got a blog post of me wearing this, so I will link that below for you. Something else that I raved about in that current makeup bag video are these little NARS eyeshadow duo in the shade Isolde. Again, still haven't found out how to pronounce it properly, but it's a really pretty warm kind of ready gold, which is quite similar to MAC Wood Winked, and there's something that's a bit, kind of a bit MAC antique-ish in that it's a ready, rusty, like bronze color. I've got this one all over my eyelids today and then a little bit of the gold in the center. I just apply that with a brush and kind of blend it out to give it a bit of dimension. But a really pretty eyeshadow duo. If you're into warm eyeshadow looks, then you need these guys. This month I found a seriously, seriously kick-ass mascara. I was in Boots one day and I just fancied picking up something a bit different. So I picked up the Dior, Dior Show Iconic Overcurl Waterproof Mascara. I saw the name, I was like, overcurl. There is no such thing as an overcurl when it comes to my eyelashes, so I thought, yeah, I'm going to pick that up, and I thought I'd go for the waterproof version, just because they tend to hold a curl better, and this holds a curl beautifully. The brush is quite, like, big, and it's a fluffy brush, not a plastic brush. It reminds me, almost, of the Benefit Bad Girl Lash one, in that it is pretty big, it's pretty hefty, but I don't make too much of a mess with it. It's slightly curved, so it really grabs your lashes nicely, and it provides length, it holds a curl, it gives a bit of volume. It's just an all-round beautiful, beautiful mascara. It is quite pricey, but it is one of my favourites that I have found in a very long time. I don't think I've felt this way about mascara since the Fairy Drop Scandal Queen Mascara, and this is so much easier to find. Just pop into a Boots Scott Dior counter, done, dusted. <laughs> then I've got two lip favourites, which bizarrely I'm not wearing right now. Right now I'm testing out a Charlotte Tilbury one, but the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in the shade 7. This is one of their newly released colours, and it is just beautiful. You know I love the texture of these. I love the formulation. They're very hydrating. It's almost like a balm and a gloss in one, and this has just been my go-to colour when I don't really know what to put on, or it's just the weekend and I haven't got much makeup on. These are really good to like throw in your handbag, throw in your everyday bag. And then the Bite Beauty Luminous Cream Lipstick in the shade Pepper. I got this from my lovely friend Sandra, so thank you Sandra, because it is a beautiful colour. I feel like on camera this always comes across more like a brick type brown colour, and actually it's much more pink when it is swatched. Let me do like a swatch for you there. It's almost like a truffle pink, like a bit of a brownie pink, but it definitely doesn't look too like 90s or anything on your lips. And the finish of it is very hydrating. It's quite, I don't want to say the finish is sheer, but the finish is kind of shiny almost, a little bit glossy, but it actually has quite a decent amount of pigment to it. But I like that it's somewhere in the middle, so you know you can put it on and like not really have to worry about touch ups because it fades very beautifully on the lips. A rediscovered favourite this month is the Clarins Tonic Body Treatment Oil. I got this in a package and I was like, I'm gonna use this because I remember back in the day I went through a whole bottle of this and I thought it was just the best thing since sliced bread. One of my New Year's resolutions was to moisturise more because my skin had just started to become like the texture of a snake and maybe I'd moisturise it like I don't know, three times a year or something really, really bad like that. So I thought I'm going to up my moisturisation game. I'm using this in conjunction with a few others, but this is my favourite, mainly for the smell. The smell is just so like 
Ugh, spa. But it's got a nice texture too. You obviously put it into the skin and it's an oil, but it doesn't hang around too much, doesn't make you feel greasy. And the next day you wake up and you've just got that like J-Lo glow to your limbs. Now the brush I was talking about earlier is this one. It's from Look Good Feel Better and it is their angled contour brush. Personally, I don't love this for contour. It's just a bit big and I've got a big face and it's even a bit too big for me. But for foundation and concealer and just kind of generally blending in your face, it is great. I kind of <laughs> found this one because I couldn't be bothered to wash my other makeup brushes and then they were at that point where they were getting a bit like gross and it was like, okay, I really need to wash these because it just isn't working in the product. Hadn't used this one yet, picked it up, freshly washed, ah. Oh, beautiful, like blends like a dream. If you haven't picked it up, then you definitely should because some of the proceeds go to charity as well. So it can be your good deed for the day. Now after my 10 things that I'm looking forward to in 2016 video, thank you so much for your comments on that. Really, really much appreciated and I love, love the feedback. So many of you said that you would like to see a cookbook video. Now I haven't done a video, but I have done a blog post of my five favorite healthy-ish cookbooks. So I'll link that post down below. But this is probably my favorite cookbook of the month. Maybe that'll become a thing cookbook of the month. This is January's cookbook of the month and it is from Gizzy and it is Gizzy's Healthy Appetite. It is a brilliant, brilliant book in the way that it's very balanced. There's some really clean, like healthy eats in there, but there's also some recipes where you're feeling a bit like, oh, at the weekend, do you fancy something not so clean? There's just a really good mix in here. There's breakfast, there's lunches, there's soups, there's desserts, there's a bit of everything. I would personally recommend the, let me find it, the New York style meatballs and gravy with courgette. This is mine and Mark's favorite dinner, like full stop. Whenever I make this, we sit there in silence and we just like eat it. And and afterwards we're like, oh, I could eat that all over again. Personally, I make the whole thing and then just do it for like two nights in a row because it serves four. But it is utterly delicious. I've made this for like my family when they've come over, they really enjoy it too. But it's a good book in the way that it's got some showstoppers in it, but then it's also got some just like good everyday quick meals to rustle up. Now my final favorite of the month are these. They're from Nike and they're just a pair of trainers that I saw online and I was like, yes, I can't stop thinking about them. They're like, a grey mixed in with black and like a bit of white thrown in. Oh, they're just absolutely perfect. They're like monochrome perfection. I will put a link below. I got them off the Nike store and down below I'll write like the exact name of them, but I just think they're absolutely great. I think they're called fly knits and they come up as good for like gym, just like general type of training. I've been wearing them to the gym because I've been going to the gym this month. I stuck to my three times a week schedule, so pat on the back and actually really enjoying it, mainly because I like to wear my new trainers, but also because I'm finding it really enjoyable. But you will hear more about that in my February fitness files. So that concludes my January favourites. I hope you've had a good one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Wednesday with a brand new video. See you then. Bye. What was that? Bye.